Now, it's a case that shows the problems with coronavirus testing. One test showed Ohio Governor Mike DeWine positive for the virus. Another showed him negative. So which one can be believed? All this week, KDKA investigator Andy Sheehan's been looking into the, the problems with testing, and he joins us now to help sort things out. Andy. Well, as our report showed, testing in America is a mess. One test is reliable but takes too long. The other one is quick, but the results are in question. I mean, I had no symptoms. But planning to meet with President Trump, Ohio Governor Mike DeWine wanted to be sure. And sure enough, this quick diagnostic test, known as an antigen test, showed him to be positive with COVID-19. But last night, the governor's office announced that the more widely used test had determined he did not have the virus. I would not uh, rely on these tests to detect who is um, an active COVID case. For the cost of $90, you can get an antigen test and results in 20 minutes at this eye care urgent care in Murraysville. But the DeWine case raises serious questions. UPMC's Dr. Alan Wells says the medical center does not use the antigen test, saying it delivers both false negative and positive results. In layman's terms, they are not reliable. I would not use it to rule you out. And if you're not suspected to have COVID, I would not use it to rule you in. But while the standard PCR test, which reads the DNA of the virus, is considered more reliable, there are now long delays in getting results nationwide. The commercial laboratories used by Quest Diagnostics and pharmacies like CVS are backlogged with cases from the southern and southwestern states. Results have slowed to a trickle, rendering them useless. Lori Bergenhoff has waited three weeks. I just find it really alarming. I don't understand, you know, how is this benefiting our country? How is it making anybody safe? And why it's such a waste of money. And so there are problems associated with both tests. But right now, health professionals prefer the standard tests, and they are working to increase capacity to clean up this backlog. Reporting live on the North Shore, Andy Sheehan, KDKA News.